Welcome back in March after Aishana broke off her engagement with Selector Futa Hype. This was basically what she was willing to divulge about the cause for the breakup. Overall, I'm a changed person. Who I was years ago is not who I am now. So right now, I just want to basically, you know, just be Aishana, you know, without thinking about anything else. I just want to do me. But since then, the Down Sound recording artist has been progressively vocal, including two diss tracks said to be aimed at Futa High. All the while, mom was the word on the part of Futa Hype until last week, right here on stage, when he revealed that sexual deviance was the cause of the breakup. A very scathing campaign against the mother of his child in the media, who is now right here on our stage with her response. Aishana, it's good to have you back. <laughs> Happy to be here. So back then you were very cagey about what caused the breakup. Yes, of course, because, you know, I was in a nine-year relationship with yes. someone that I really loved, mm -hmm. you know, and things just never work out, and yes. I decided to move on with my life. Mm -hmm. I was in an abusive relationship. I didn't want to disclose that to the entire Jamaica because at the same time, you know, this is somebody I still loved. Although I decided to move on, it was still someone that I still loved and I didn't want him to look any particular way in front of Jamaica. Okay. So you were I, still loving him? No, not right now. Not right this no, minute, not but right you were now. loving him at that after time. The you know, it's, a, it's, it's, I mean, him broke up in January when everybody knew about it, it was in March. Mm -hmm. You know, but yeah, we break up, yes, but we still never need to disclose all of the personal issues okay. why we break up. You understand? So that was it. I didn't want to disclose that at the time. But, you know, for him to come out like that, it was very degrading, it was very embarrassing. You know, and for you to come up with lies and allegations against me, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't appreciating that. Uh, okay, so all these things he was saying, he was talking about sexual deviance. You wanted to deviate from the, the normal mm -hmm. intercourse that you would have <laughs> and to do something that he wasn't into. First uh, of all, Winfred, yes. all I'm saying about that is he's saying that I broke up with him because of oral sex. No. I don't know which woman of them right mind. I got to be with a man where I take care of them. Mm -hmm. I do everything where, you know, where you need for doing a relationship. I don't know anybody who would really break up with someone because of oral sex. Uh, to me, that's pathetic, and I think it's crazy. And, you know, the worst part is actually people are kind of believing it. You know, and that's why I decide to speak up because I'm not going to make foot of this try me. Okay. I work very hard. So, but there, there was, he was also alleging that Group sex was a part of And that is a lie. And that you. is a lie. That's a lie. That That's is a lie. lie. Outright lie. That is a lie because mm -hmm. just, just Futa's whole persona, him as a person, for mm -hmm. him to still be working in a company where I am doing all these crazy things and the way him can run back a Mr. Bogdanovich like a mongrel dog, yeah. what that's about him character. Mm -hmm. You understand? So for you to come out and I try, I would rather him just keep it real and just be real. But the whole problem with this is I decided to take on my career for the betterment of, the betterment of my future and the betterment of my son. I was in a relationship yes. where I was unhappy. Okay. I gave nine years to someone and I was giving them all of me and I was leaving myself. I wasn't going for my dream. You understand what I'm saying? And I decided to take control of my life. And that is where the problem came in. Okay, so what was the big reason? For the breakup? There are numerous reasons, but the main reason is I was in an abusive relationship for nine years. Physical abuse? Physically. When I met Futa, I was 18 years old. Okay. And him basically controlled my mind. You know how that is. Mm -hmm. You understand? My, most of my family are overseas, along with the fact that he knew that I loved him. So you feel you were manipulated I by was him? manipulated. And now since I'm out of the situation, that is how I know that I was manipulated. And because of what he has been doing... Okay. This is proving to me that I am so, so happy. So you were being abused all that all I was that time. being abused. I was being so abused. So why did you stay with... Why did you... I mean, number one, mm -hmm. we, are, we share a child together. That is the first thing. And, you know, people might not understand. It's some kind of cliche, but it's not really something that you just get up and say, okay, okay. I'm going to leave. Mm -hmm. You try to give it your best. And this was somebody that I really loved. 
And you know you think it's going to change. You really think within yourself that it's going to change. No, this is somebody, of course, may not take it from full time, do a lot for me. And I appreciate everything that he has done for me. But the price that I had to pay, That's the price much. that I had to pay behind closed doors, and I had to still come out and put a smile on my face uh -huh. and act like everything is okay. You know, and I just thought that this was just too much. I could not take it anymore. And after nine years, maybe for not one or two or three, nine long years, I gave this person, you know? And I decided that this is it. All right, one of the big allegations Futa made in the interview last week was that um, Skiato, um confessed to a relationship with you, a sexual relationship. Okay, first of all, Winfred, the first thing Skiato, um Futa is saying is that basically, oh, Skata is my friend. Futa and Skata is not friends. Everybody is co-workers. So if he's close with Skata, I am close. I am actually closer to Skata than Futa. Me and Skata are friends. Futa and Skata are co-workers, right? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day... So were you, were, you a, were you friends before him or during no, the No, since we... Since okay, we, since you went to the company. Down yeah, okay. and we both were there at the same time. Okay. You understand? But what I'm trying to say is I was separated from Futa since January. You understand? Mm -hmm. And it's now September. At the end of the day, when Foot and me got into our disputes and stuff like that, Scatter is the only person that is always there for me. That is my friend. That is somebody that I go to for advice. That is somebody who have my back. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? At the end of the day, things happen. It's a part of life. And at the end of the day, I was single. I was single. So I am a woman. Scatter was single. No, me and Foot were over. We have been finished okay. since January. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I ended up falling for someone because of the fact that that person is always there for me for support. That person is always there for advice, anything. He's my friend. Mm -hmm. And things happen, it's a part of life. Okay. You understand? But Futa is trying to paint this picture in the media as if, okay, Skatter was my BFF and me and him used to cross the road and I shan't adjust. No, it was not like that. Mm -hmm. You understand? So just keep it real. At the end of the day, I'm a grown woman. I don't have to explain anything to anybody. Skatter is a grown man. And at the same time, we were both single. Mm -hmm. so at all that I'm, time? Yeah, at that time, we were both Because you say you fall for him, meaning that you're in love with Skatter. We are friends. Okay. Um, so there's a relationship now officially with Skatter. Well, I don't need to disclose all of that or anything. All I'm saying is it, things happen and it's a part of life and you can't control everything what happened in your life. Did he accept the breakup? Well, we broke up since January. Yes. And it didn't become public until March. Mm -hmm. You understand? At first, yeah, I'm going to accept it. Kind of, I'm tell him, so we left enough time. You understand? But after a while, and he saw that I was really serious. That was when the problem came in. You know what I mean? And, you know, my career, I started taking it serious. But even when, after we broke up, we got into this huge fight. And he beat me up. And that was the day when I knew that, you know, this is it. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. Because at the end of the day, me, I work for my career. I don't need to be in a war and fight and push and dog lifestyle. Okay. You understand? I just get fed up by it. And I mean, enough is enough. And this man, he knows what he has done for me. He came on the show and he's brushing it off and playing it down and talking about, oh, we were in physical. No, I cannot fight Futa. Futa is almost 300 pounds. You understand? I was being abused. Okay. You understand? I was being cheated on. And I cannot speak when I am being cheated on. You understand? I was with someone that my loyalty became slavery. Because I am hearing how much you do for me every day. I cannot leave you. Yeah, because you do a lot for me and I appreciate it. But at the same time, there's but, but, there's but so much. What more am I for do? What more am I for do? It must be a point where I go say, listen, this is it. And I decided to walk away from it. And that is where World War III starts. When you walked away when in I March walked, when or in I January? When I made it public. When you made March, it public in yes, March. Yes, and when I decided to walk away, that is where the problem lies. And also, when my company, Down Sound Records, was, was, was my pillar of strength, yes. they were there for me, holding me up. Because as I said before, I don't have much family here. And Futo knows this. And that's what he used all, this, all these years. He used that to his advantage. No, I was with a company. They stood up for me. They didn't get into my personal life, but I knew at the end of the day, they had my back if I needed somewhere. You know, they, they had my back in certain situations, and that was where the problem came in, because he wished that was not the case. When he couldn't get to abuse me anymore, 
when you could not get to manipulate so they me were, anymore. they were protecting you? The, the people I mean, at Down I am, Sound? They, that's how my company is. Mm -hmm. As I said before on my last interview, everybody is a family. So wait a minute. All of what was said last week about all these sexual deviants and group sex and so on were made up? That all of what Futa is saying. Why? Why, is he, why does he want to damage you? Uh, uh, because when say, what he's trying to say is basically Winfred, let me keep it real, him yeah. build me so he can destroy me. Him don't want to so him don't want to prosper if I'm a theme name can say, all right, I'm input Aisha on He wanted you back? Did he want to of continue course, the relationship? Of course, but him, I want to continue. Him not, let, him not let go? I don't know if him let go all now. And that was another reason why I had to do my songs. My song called Restraining Order, I had to do it because the thing is what people don't understand, you know. People are saying that I was looking a hype off of Futa why I recorded that song. But me and Futa broke up since March, and I never once came out to the media. I never once told anybody what I was going through. Okay. You understand? If me the one look at hype of a Futa, me do them song there from March. It mm -hmm. is now September, and me and Futa break up in a January. That is nine months ago, and I never thought about doing a song. Futa has been stalking me. He denied those allegations. He has been stalking me. Futa drive past my house, me live on a dead end road. Futa drive past my house. Put, Futa and I care for all four hours. Out of my yard gate. Him do have a reason for be there. You understand? I know the person that I have been dealing with over the nine years. I know the abuse that I have been a part of. I have been threatened by Futa before, saying that if I move on with my life or if I leave him, he would kill me and he would kill himself. I wasn't going to take that lightly. I went to go and get a restraining order. When I went to go and get a restraining order, first week, you know, you got the first week, then you fill out, you write up your, you know, and they told me to come back to see the judge two weeks after. I went to go and see the judge. It was such a long process. I was there for like two hours. I ha at the end of the day, I'm an artist. I had other engagements and I had to leave. But this was still something that was bothering me because I did not feel safe. You understand what I'm saying? What I decided to, is, to do was make awareness of my situation that I was going through. Because remember, Winfred, when me and Futa broke up, I never told the public that we weren't talking. When I did my last interview, Futa couldn't even call my phone. You understand what I'm saying? We were not friends, but that was nobody's business at the time. Well, so me never want Futa. That clear yeah, me never want yeah. Futa come hurt me and then nothing not come out of it. So I decided to make Jamaica no say, me I be stalked and me I go get a restraining order. That means say, if I pin touch Aishana, you know, say, for fine footer. Because mm -hmm. nobody would know that I was going through this. You understand what I'm saying? So me recording that song, Restraining Order, was because of the fact that I was tired of it. I wanted people to know what I was going through. And also, Futa has been slandering my name. Him got every studio for try to degrade my name. Him depend on social media. He says you are a good mom. He's giving you that. He's conceding that you're a very good mom. Mm -hmm. How are you protecting the child in this time? From all of this. Okay, well, personally speaking, when I did my songs, Restraining Order, my song, it don't even call for a name. That is the first thing. I don't see I'm degrading for a name in any type of way. If me even say Futa cock up in Bigfoot and a snore, I'm not saying nothing where the old Jamaican don't know. Mm -hmm. Everybody know Futa foot big. So, what Futa is talking about, Restraining Order, Restraining Order, Futa knows that that is not even the first song I wrote for him. I wrote songs about our relationship and what I've been going through, but people always thought that everything was good. My song, Murderer, was about Futa. And he never carried on like this, but because Restraining Order is getting so much of a buzz, okay. and his quest is to destroy me. He don't want to see me shine. That is why he might try to come out now, and I talk to him, I'm grateful, and he might talk all of them something. I don't know what else I'm going to do. I try my best, you know, nine years, you know. Futa is the reason why my child is going to have to look back 10 years from now and see all those disgusting things that he's saying about me. That is not my doing, that's his doing. Mm -hmm. When Futa is beating me in front of my child, you understand what I'm saying? That is not my doing. He's not thinking about his child when he's beating me in front of his son. I decided to leave because at the end of the day, listen, me rather take myself out of situation because listen, I don't want my son growing up thinking that that is okay, it's not okay. I was wrong. I'm going to take the blame because I shouldn't have stayed with him for nine years. But who feels it knows it. Sometimes you're in a situation, only when you're in it, you can understand. And I know that other women are out there right now that's probably scared to leave, you know, for various reasons. Mm -hmm. You might not have the money. You might not feel secured. 
you might feel threatened like you're going the person because you have the abusive men out there that might threaten you because I was in that situation, you know, scared to leave. But I just want them to know, say, listen, yeah. you can leave because when I left Futa, me did willing to give up everything. I was willing to give up my career if I had to because I you was You were not, scared but left. I say. was scared but I just could not take it anymore. You found the courage I to found the courage to leave and that's what I did. And that is the big problem. That is the problem because Futa feel like if me, if him can't have me, me no for reach no way in her life. I just decide it right now. So all you see me come and I talk and I try and make me look like the worst person. Anybody with sense would know that Futa is just being bitter and he's being angry. Because I never dirty to him all this time. All these years, I never dirty. Last year when he engaged to me in an event, when no one said to say no, but I didn't want to take shame face all the time, I never said no because we I was being abused at that time. We were still in an abusive relationship. I was about to leave, and he decided to propose to me in front of his event. I'm not going to say no. Oh, really? Yes, and I still tried to make it work, Winfred. But after me and Futa said, all right, we're going to start a clean slate, one month after that, I'm going to Futa Care and find condom wrapper. This man is not serious. There's but so much. I can go on for days here, but what I'm trying to say is this. Futa don't come in the public and try to make Aishana feel, seem like a bad person. Yes, you do a lot for me, but me do a lot for you too. Okay. Talk about the stuff that I have done for you. I have been there for you. Every time when you mess around with people, Aishana has been there. I've given you nine years. You understand? And you have done a lot for me, and I just believe that in a relationship, when two people are in a committed relationship, it's an obligation. I should be there for you, and you should be there to support me. That is how it is. So don't come on TV and talk about what you do for Aishana. Like say, Aishana never do for you too. Aishana has done for you too. Aishana has been there for you too, so just give me my credit. He came on here last week, and he admitted to being very promiscuous and cheating, like it was nothing. Yes. He has been blessed with the opportunity to work with Downsound Records, which is a very prominent company, and he's getting paid millions of dollars each year. And he, since he has been to Downsound two and a half years, he accumulated three cars. And I said to Futa, listen, no, we have to get a house. I've been saying this before, you know, but after you know, we get engaged, we say, babe, listen, you say, the next time you get your money, but you pay down for a house instead of go buy a next car. Mm -hmm. You understand? Futa, on the other hand, he went behind my back, and he decided to buy a BMW for the sake of the hype and the sake of looking good in front of dance hall when enough days we don't even have food in our fridge because I'm not ashamed to talk right now, you know. Me I keep it real. But now come come telling a lie, I just decide to say me I gotta just hear it all right now. That really hurt me and that showed me that you are selfish and you're not thinking about me and your child. Because at the end of the day, if I say we need security for our future, for the sake of our son. And you're going to use your money and go buy a BMW for iPad people and you know we really and truly don't have it. That day was another day when I decided, no, me, I have to take my future in hand. Me, I have to take my son's future in hand. And that is when we decide, say, listen, me, I'm going to go for my own. And I'm trying to go for mine. And this is the same person, footer, that I've been with for nine years, supporting him, trying to destroy me. You understand? And this... This is, not no public, this is not no joke thing. This is, not, this is a real life situation that I'm going through. You understand? And it's very emotional for me because if it was a stranger trying to bring me down, I would not care. Because mm -hmm. I've had me, many times when I could have came out and bashed foot. I'm mean, not saying nothing about him that bad now, Sam. What must I say about him, so? Fear degrade me like this. Okay. So I want the government to understand that with the whole restraining order thing, I think they need to kind of tighten up in that area because... Hadn't I not been a public figure, I couldn't have brought awareness to my situation. And you have other women out there. So, so it's up to now you have not gotten... Well, I am in the process, but I would have to do it through a lawyer. Okay. You understand? And since the whole uproar and the excitement, it kind of leave me a little bit because Futa is kind of somebody with a lot of pride. So you see, because the whole streets, I say, yeah, stock I shan or whatever, it might kind of leave me a little bit. I'm still going to get it because you never know. You understand? But I am saying that you have women out there that they're not popular. And that this is the same reason why women are getting killed every day. Because they go out there and they try to get a restraint. And the process is unbelievable. It's very, very hard. And that is why I had to put it in the newspaper and let people know what I was going through. This was my cry for help. Because I never want to do it. But what am I going to do? Make Futa hurt me and not come out of it. And I just want Futa to just stop living a lie. 
stop trying to make Aishana look like the worst person because you know me are the best thing we ever am for you. And it no matter how much pretty girl we in that talk book, I'm coming here and I talk. At the end of the day, it's not about looks. It's about someone's personality and someone being there for you and somebody having your back. And if Futa wish to speak the truth, him know say me did have feedback. But no, since he try to bring me down, I am not going to stand for it. And I'm speaking out, and that's what I'm doing right now. You have spoken out. Yeah. You have spoken out. Thank you very much for coming and sharing with us. Thank you. And Sean, I want to wish you all the best. Thank you. We hope that you will find peace. You will move on. Your I will. Son, the, the eight -year -old I will for the sake of will my be son. Okay. Yeah. And your life will be good in the future. It's such a shame, but I'm leaving. Me a girl when I take why beating. So sure, me I love you no more. When did this your love turn Before war? you put your lips to my lips, you put your fist to my lips. What do you think? We would like to hear from you, every one of you, on this issue. Social media, Twitter, Facebook, let us know. And stick it right here on stage when we come back, Mr. Vegas. You just kill my tree.